my friends are since. Hey, today I'm going to be exploring some modular stuff and I'm going to be playing about with a patch that I use quite a lot to create kind of melodic lines when I don't really have much inspiration to write my own things. And so I'm going to talk you through what I'm doing and then, as always, I'll be uploading all of the loops and stuff that I make onto the Patreon. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, you can go get them from there. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is I already have some drums set up. Uh, I've written some drum loops using something called XO by XLN. It is a bit of software that lets you write drum patterns using your own samples and stuff. Unusually for me, it's a bit of software. Uh, I actually did it on my Mac, which is a bit strange. I usually use um, hardware drum machines and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, I have a loop here, which I'll play for you. So you get the idea, that is the loop that I'm going to be uh, trying to write some melodies with or for, I guess. And the way I'm going to do that when it comes to the modular is I have my clock coming out of my DAW, which is Logic. It sends out an audio pulse which goes into this ERM multi-clock thing here, which is hidden away under a mass of cables. This allows me to have a really tight sync between my modular system and my DAW, because otherwise, if you try and just use MIDI output from your DAW, uh, from experience, it doesn't work too well when you come to things like, you know, this wild analog system here. So I'm going to talk you through the kind of patch, and I'll mute the drums for now so that we're not hearing them as I'm doing things. So the first thing is, I'm taking my oscillator voice from a Dixie 2 here. I have two outputs coming from that because they're going into this tuner module here. And basically this just auto-tunes my um, sequences to A, or it auto-tunes the oscillator to A, I should say. And that means that I don't have to find a tuner and do it for myself. Anyway, when it comes to controlling the oscillators and sequencing things, then I am going to be using this rather interesting module here, which is the Turing machine. And basically this generates kind of random patterns of melody, depending on the kind of settings that you've got it, you know, set to, I guess. Now, the output of the Turing machine is going into this wee uh, quantizer here. That's because the Turing machine on its own doesn't necessarily spit out particularly musical sequences. So if you run it through a quantizer, it'll keep it to a scale or something nice and, you know, pleasant to listen to. The output of that quantizer then goes into the module again and tells it, you know, what notes to play. And the output of the module is going to a variety of different places. So I've got the output multipled here. So I'm taking four different outputs from the single oscillator, and that's because I'm going to run them through different effects and things so that I can have a variety of different options of sound with delays or whatever it might be, but also keep the original signal. And so you can see here on my kind of, uh, I don't know, volume thingy, um, I've got a whole bunch of cables that are coming out, and that's because they're all going into different inputs on my interface. So that's how that's set up. So if I hit play on the laptop at the moment, it will send the clock to my ERM multi-clock. It will then send it into my endorphin MIDI to CV module, and that will send the clock all throughout my system and start the pattern playing. So I'm going to press play, and then it will start, uh, you know, generating whatever melody from the Turing machine. And we'll just hear the raw audio at this point. It won't be any effects or anything because I'm only going to be taking the audio from the actual oscillator. No reverb, nothing like that. You can see the clock is now being fired throughout the whole thing. Oh, and the Turing machine is doing its, uh, its dealio. Now, the other effects that I've got set up are, I've got an endorphin, uh, I can't remember the name of it actually, it's the Milky Way, which is a multi-effects module, and so I've got it on a kind of warbly tape thing, so if I bring up this one, this is the relevant output. You can hear I've now got a second output which has got this effect on it, which I really, really like. Now the other effect that I'm going to be um, sending out is clouds, and this is a granular kind of textural synthesizer thing that you've probably heard of. And if I bring that up also on my mixer here, So 
that's the gist of the setup. Uh, you, basically, I just, I'm going to record a whole bunch of different loops using this. This is the kind of thing that I do when I am bored and not entirely sure what kind of melodies I should write. The Turing machine is my kind of go-to um, weapon of choice in those scenarios. next stage for this, now that I've got some lovely, beautiful sounding Eurorack modular melodies that can go with my drums, is to find some kind of bassier tones. And, you know, you don't necessarily need to do this because the sound from the effects are quite full. However, I want to try it out, so I'm going to patch up a similar thing, but this time I'm going to use uh, probably a different oscillator. I'm going to run it through the same auto-tune module so it's in tune, you know, with what I want to do. I'm going to run it through the same quantizer so that I'm within the same scale. And then I may well just manually sequence this one because um, it'll be easier to get what I want. Or I might try it with the Turing machine. I'll wait and see. But first I have to rearrange my entire patching thing here and pull out all the cables. So that's what I'm going to do. That's me got a bunch of different bass lines now. Uh, I used the Pittsburgh Waveforms module for my oscillator. I ran it through a preamp, which is based on the old Boss KM mixer series. It came from feedback modules, who make really nice, cheap, well, relatively cheap uh, modules. And uh, I find that their preamps in particular give some really nice chunk to the bass. What I'm going to use for the final wee touches is this thing in here, which is called the Radio Music from uh, Music Thing Modular. And there's a whole bunch of different ways you can use this, but the traditional way, or the kind of first intended purpose, I guess, was that it acts as a kind of virtual-esque radio station, or like a radio player. So basically, you can load on a whole bunch of samples on here and then cycle through them as if you're, you know, listening to the radio. So I've got it hooked up at the moment, so I'll turn it up and you can hear what I mean. Oh, no. The result would be the same. And if I could begin again a third time, knowing what I would know then, the result would be the same. And what you can do is you can cycle through the stations. And if I could, throughout the first half of my life, and change the start position. Years of severe reorientation. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt our program of dance music to bring you a special bullet. Etc. Which is pretty good. And I've also got it set up to run through both clouds and of course my other effect to really mangle the voice. So nice wee telecom sounding thing. And then clouds. It really fucks things up. So what I'm going to do with the radio music for this patch is tempo sync the start position of the sample so that it always keeps returning to the same point and then I'm going to run it into clouds, as you heard, and also my other effects. And that way I'll get an interesting kind of textural layer to weave throughout the track. I'm going to record a bit of me doing that so you get an idea. And then I'm going to uh, cut everything up into loops on my DAW and, you know, figure out which bits of the melodies and stuff that I've recorded sound good enough. And then I'm just going to play out the track. So hopefully that was interesting. A lot of people always ask about the modular and how I use it. And this is just one of the many ways that I like to use the Eurorack. But I particularly like this way because it kind of takes my... Um, it takes me out of the equation a wee bit more and just lets the modular kind of create things. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I can see. 
Thank you.